see the form of this crystal cup. The main volume is spherical and circular and maybe it looks like a cylinder. The base also looks like a cone and the handle of this glass container is very narrow cylinder that has been rotated. I look from this angle and you see from above. Well, the body of the glass is a spherical shape. There is a hole in the top. There is a hole in the top and it looks like an oval. I drew the base with a cone. Of course, I didn't. The container should be slightly larger. And we drew the whole glass with a sphere. Now I draw this stitch from above. Well, I have to draw this container into a large circle. Well, I did. Now I see the bottom of the glass in a smaller circle. There are two circles inside. The base of the cone is seen from a small circle at a high angle because it's out of our sight. Just a small circle but not a cone. The handle of the glass, which is a narrow cylinder, is seen from above only a rectangle. A narrow rectangle and the glass from above is a circle. It's better to keep practicing and draw again from another angle because drawing is enjoyable. Now I draw the glass from the front. The glass is a circle from above and we have to separate the top of the circle. And the base is trapezoidal facing. This trapezoid is the base cone. Circle is always very useful for drawing containers. See the form of this spoon? The hollow part of the spoon was like a sphere. And uh, from this angle, the spherical part of the spoon is seen a circle. So I will start by drawing a circle. The size of a spoon handle is very narrow rectangle cube. I draw a narrow rectangle for the handle. I am drawing a piece of the big circle. I slice it so, so much so that it goes into the mouth. Well, I now bend the rectangle a little to make it look like this spoon. 